20 low carb breakfast ideas that are ultra satisfying from keto recipes to flavor packed egg dishes are you looking for delicious low carb breakfast ideas that are not only satisfying but also packed with flavor look no further in this video we've got you covered with 10 mouth-watering low-carb breakfast recipes that will kickstart your day in a healthy and delicious way whether you're following a keto diet trying to manage your carb intake or just looking for some new breakfast inspiration these recipes have something for everyone so let's dive right in and discover these tasty breakfast options how many carbs per day should you aim for the current dietary guidelines for Americans 2020 to 2025 state that people who are not on a doctor-approved diet plan should consume 45 to 65 percent of their daily calories from carbohydrates, or between 225 to 325 grams if they are following a 2000 calorie diet. Diabetes, where a slight reduction in carbohydrates might enhance glycemic management and insulin sensitivity, and weight loss are two reasons to reduce your carb intake. And yes, doctors do concur that for some people, limiting carbohydrates can aid in weight reduction, at least temporarily. However, if losing weight is your goal, you'd be wise to continue cautiously because good carbs, notably the complex variety, are an important source of nutrients and energy for your body. Your objective should be to consume carbohydrates in accordance with the aforementioned recommendations, barring medical advice, and avoid letting your love of bread result in an imbalanced diet. So that you have more flexibility to fulfill your body's carbohydrate demands at other points in the day, consider one of these nutritious, low-carb breakfast alternatives in place of your morning muffin. 1. Avocado Baked Eggs, 9G Carbs 25 minutes are required. Why we enjoy it, 500 calories, 10 ingredients, 30 minutes, crowd pleaser. Everyone is aware that a creamy avocado is almost the ideal meal. A jammy baked egg and a dash of extra salty cotija cheese for spice complete this simple meal, making it one you can dream about in the wee hours of the morning. Baked eggs in avocado recipe. Ingredients 6 have avocados. 12 eggs, preferably from pasture. Freshly ground black pepper and kosher salt. A quarter cup of cotija cheese, crumbled. A quarter cup salsa, either handmade or purchased. First, preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the avocado's pits and scoop off a small amount of flesh, approximately one teaspoon, from each half to make an egg-sized hole. 2. Fit the avocados closely together in a little baking dish. Put an egg, carefully cracked, into each avocado half. To avoid breaking the yolk, you might choose to crack each egg into a ramekin beforehand before pouring it into the avocado. Sprinkle salt and pepper over the top of each avocado to season it. 3. Bake the egg-filled avocados until your desired yolk consistency is reached, 15 to 20 minutes. Top each with cotija and serve with a side of salsa. 2. Quiche with a sweet potato crust that is gluten-free, 15 G carbs. Duration, 1 hour and 20 minutes. Why we love it, palatable, vegetarian, and just 500 calories. With a gluten-free sweet potato crust and a luscious, cheesy flavor, this contemporary take on a traditional quiche begs to be added to your regular full menu. Ingredients Lubricant spray. Two huge sweet potatoes, peeled and cut into rounds that are 14 inch thick. Extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon. Lubricant spray. Filling. Olive oil, extra virgin, two teaspoons. Two leeks, finely cut from the halves. One big bunch of ribbed and coarsely torn kale leaves. Freshly ground black pepper and kosher salt. 1 cup of grated Gruyere or Emmentaler cheese, split. 5 big eggs. A quarter cup heavy cream or half and half. 14 teaspoon of nutmeg, ground. Start by setting the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Use nonstick spray to sparingly oil a 9-inch springform pan. 2. T.O. Make the crust, toss the sweet potato rounds in a medium dish with the olive oil to coat. 
The rounded side of a few of the bigger sweet potato pieces should be facing up when you place them around the springform pan's edge. The slices should extend around halfway up the pan side. Place the remaining sweet potatoes in the pan's bottom in an equal layer. Pie weights or dry beans should be placed within a greased sheet of aluminium foil that has been shaped to fit inside the slices. 3. Bake the crust for 18 to 20 minutes, or until the sweet potatoes are just beginning to color. 4. Prepare the filling in a large pan over medium heat, warm the olive oil while the crust cooks. Leeks should be added and sautéed for 4 minutes or until soft. Add the kale in handfuls and cook for 5 minutes or until it has wilted. Salt and pepper are used to season the mixture. 5. After taking the crust out of the oven, evenly distribute half the cheese on top. The leek kale combination should be spread over the cheese. 6. Combine the eggs, half and half, and nutmeg in a medium bowl, season with salt and pepper. Over the greens in the prepared crust, pour the custard. Over the top, scatter the remaining cheese. 7. Place the pan back in the oven and bake for 30 to 35 minutes, or until the custard is set around the edges but still somewhat jiggly in the center serve right away or keep covered in plastic wrap for up to two days in the refrigerator. 3. Eggs in a single pan with tomato and asparagus, 13 g carbs. Invested time, 30 minutes. Why we love it, vegetarian, only 10 ingredients, 500 calories, 1 pan. We guarantee you a nutritious meal, so filling that you won't even miss the toast when you sop up deliciously runny egg yolk with seasonal veggies, such as asparagus and luscious cherry tomatoes. If you like eggs, put up your hand. If you dislike doing the dishes, raise the other now. Here is your new favorite recipe, then. You can serve this sheet pan egg dish for breakfast or dinner and it is pretty much the ideal meal. Ingredients 2 pounds of asparagus Cherry tomatoes in a pint 4 eggs Olive oil, 2 teaspoons 2 tablespoons of freshly chopped thyme Pepper and salt as desired First, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit Use non-stick cooking spray to grease a baking sheet. 2. Spread the cherry tomatoes and asparagus out evenly on the baking pan. Olive oil should be drizzled over the veggies, which should then be taste-tested for salt, pepper, and thyme. 3. Roast in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes, or until the tomatoes are wrinkled and the asparagus is almost soft. 4. Crack the eggs over the asparagus and sprinkle salt and pepper on each one. 5. Put the pan back in the oven and bake for an additional 7 to 8 minutes, or until the egg whites are set but the yolks are still jiggly. 6. Distribute the asparagus, tomatoes, and eggs among the four dishes before serving. 4. Eggs wrapped in bacon, 2 g carbs. Invested time, 45 minutes. Why we love it. Suitable for special occasions, only 10 ingredients, strong in protein. Bacon may not be permitted, but buttered toast most certainly is. Here, the ubiquitous breakfast sausage serves as a container for a straightforward baked egg. The end product is a delicious low-carb breakfast concept that will wow your brunch visitors. If there was bacon in every bite of eggs for breakfast, it would be immeasurably better. So, let's use this recipe for bacon-wrapped egg cups to make that fantasy a reality. These bites look amazing and couldn't be simpler. Just make sure to include a side of home fries with them. Ingredients 16 pieces of bacon 8 eggs Freshly ground black pepper and salt Directions 1. Turn on the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit Lay the bacon out on a baking pan that has been lined with aluminium foil. 2. Bake the bacon until it is half cooked and the fat has started to render. Cool it till you can touch it. 3. Place two bacon pieces around the edge of each cup in the muffin tray. Repeat the process with the remaining bacon strips until you've made 8 cups. 4. Crack an egg into every cup coated with bacon. Add salt and pepper to taste. 
Bake the egg whites in the muffin tray for 10 to 12 minutes, or until they are set but the yolks are still jiggly. The bacon need to be quite crispy. 5. To assist each bacon cup come out of the pan, run a paring knife around the edge of each one. Serve hot. 5. Cheddar rice crust over kale quiche, 19 G carbs. Duration, 1 hour and 20 minutes. Why we enjoy it, crowd-pleasing, suitable for special occasions, with 10 components. This kale quiche is full of eggy deliciousness and the cheesy gluten-free crust is more flavorful and simpler to make than a regular one, making it a fantastic way to get a serving of greens at breakfast. Quiche. The fact that this meal is just baked eggs makes it appear less upscale than it actually is, despite the fact that it is French. With this recipe, we further loosen up the original by using a gluten-free crust that defies convention. Ingredients 2 cups of boiled rice 2 egg whites 12 cup of cheddar cheese, shredded Quiche 5 big eggs 2 thirds cup milk Freshly ground black pepper and salt 3 sliced thin green onions 12 bundle of coarsely torn kale. First, preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Grease a 9-inch pie pan very lightly. 2. To make the crust, combine the rice, egg whites, and shredded cheese in a large dish. 3. Evenly push the rice mixture into the pie plate using wet fingertips. Bake for 13 to 15 minutes, or until the crust starts to color. Cool a little. Create the quiche. Mix the milk and eggs in a medium bowl, season with salt and pepper to taste. In the crust you've created, stack the kale and green onions evenly before adding the egg mixture on top. Note, any exposed kale poking through the egg custard's top will become crunchy like kale chips. 5. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes, or until the egg mixture is set in the center. Before slicing and serving, allow it cool somewhat. 6. Baked eggs with tomatoes, 12 G carbohydrates. Invested time, 45 minutes. Why we love it, suitable for special occasions, 500 calories, and only 10 ingredients. Your mind was blown when you cooked an egg in an avocado. To get a sweet and gently acidic boost that tastes like summer, do the same thing now with a juicy, ripe tomato. Two items that are undoubtedly already in your kitchen are an egg carton and ripe tomatoes. However, have a look at this tomato recipe for cooked eggs with tomatoes before making an omelette. Are you ready to see how it's done? Good. You're one step closer to a meal or breakfast that isn't dull, depending on your preferences. Ingredients Olive oil, 2 teaspoons 8 little tomatoes 8 big eggs Milk, a quarter cup Grated Parmesan cheese, a quarter cup Freshly ground black pepper and salt For tablespoons freshly chopped herbs such as parsley, thyme, rosemary, or a combination of them First, preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit The olive oil should be used to grease a big oven-safe pan 2. To remove the tomato stems, make a short cut around them with a paring knife. Scoop out the tomatoes inside using a spoon. Reserve the insides and incorporate them into salsa or tomato sauce. 3. Fit the tomato shells into the skillet that has been preheated. Each tomato is filled with one egg. Add 1 tablespoon milk and 1 tablespoon parmesan over the top of each egg. Each egg should be salted and peppered. 4. Bake for 15 to 17 minutes, or until the eggs are set in the whites but the yolks are still a little runny. After allowing it cool for 5 minutes, garnish with the fresh herbs. 7. Smoked salmon, cream cheese, and dill top sheet pan eggs, 2G carbs. Invested time, 30 minutes. Why we love it, a crowd pleaser with only 10 ingredients and 500 calories. This one pan egg meal is much less complicated than, say, slaving over the stove attempting to gently scramble enough eggs to satisfy a crowd. It also has a winning mix of ingredients. For one person, cooking eggs is simple, but for a large group, it might be challenging. 
Therefore, cheap pan eggs with smoked salmon, cream cheese, and dill are your secret weapon the next time you're hosting a large group of friends for brunch. It tastes well on toast with a mimosa, but it tastes much better as a bagel sandwich. Ingredients Unsalted butter, 1 and a half tablespoons, at room temperature. 12 eggs. 1 third cup of whole milk. Freshly ground black pepper and salt. 14 cups split fresh dill, chopped. 12 tablespoons of chopped smoked salmon. Half a cup of cream cheese. Chopped red onion, half. Capers, 3 tablespoons. First, preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the softened butter to sparingly oil a baking sheet. 2. Whisk the eggs in a medium basin. Add the milk and salt and pepper to taste. Half of the dill is reserved for garnish, stir in the other half. 3. Add the eggs to the dish that has been ready. Place dollops of cream cheese on top of the eggs after equally distributing the smoked salmon. 4. Place the pan in the oven and bake for 15 to 17 minutes, or until the eggs are just set. 5. Cut each egg into 12 identical pieces. Garnish with red onion, capers, and the saved dill before serving right away. 8. Low-carb cereal with granola, 2 grams. 25 minutes are required. Why we love it, crab-pleasing, low-sugar, keto, and only 30 minutes. A combination of crunchy nuts and seeds, monk fruit sweetener, and vanilla are combined in this recipe to create a low-sugar, low-carb granola that will please your sweet taste and be good for your body. Pissed, it also makes a great snack, so be sure to pack some to go. On a ketogenic diet, do you miss cereal? With the help of this keto granola recipe, no more. There aren't many alternatives for clean ingredient keto cereal, as you may have observed. I thus thought that crushed nuts thrown in the same coating would create a low-carb granola when I produced sugar-free candied pecans a few years ago, and I was right. 9. 10 G Carbs of Green Shikshuka Invested time, 55 minutes. Why we love it, vegetarian, only 500 calories, and suitable for special occasions. In this modified shikshuka, spinach replaces the tomato sauce, but these greens are anything from boring owing to a spicy blend of jalapenos, harissa, and spices. Sick of eggs fried in butter? It's time to get to know shikshuka, a delightful egg dish that is popular in Israel for breakfast but also great for lunch or dinner. The original recipe calls for tomato sauce, but we adore this interesting variation a hot green shikshuka prepared with spinach and jalapenos. Best of all, it appears elegant yet is surprisingly simple to prepare. Ingredients 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil are needed as ingredients. 1 minced onion 2 minced garlic cloves 1 seeded and minced jalapeno 1 pound of thawed frozen spinach 1 teaspoon cumin, dry 1 quarter teaspoon of cilantro Freshly ground black pepper and salt Harissa, 2 tablespoons Half a cup vegetable stock 8 big eggs Fresh parsley, chopped as needed for serving Fresh cilantro should be chopped as needed for serving Flakes of red pepper, as required for serving First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit 2. Heat the olive oil in a large oven-safe pan over medium heat. Add the onion and cook for 4 to 5 minutes, or until it is soft. One minute later, add the garlic and jalapeno, and continue to sauté until fragrant. 3. Add the spinach and stir. Cook for 4 to 5 minutes if using fresh spinach or for 1 to 2 minutes if using thawed spinach from freezer. 4. Add harissa, cumin, coriander, salt, and pepper to taste. Cook until aromatic for approximately a minute. 5. Pour the ingredients into a blender or food processor and puree until it is grainy. Blend in the broth until thick and smooth after adding. 6. After cleaning it, coat the skillet with non-stick cooking spray. 
Repour the spinach mixture into the pan, then create eight circular wells with a wooden spoon. Seven, crack the eggs into the wells with care. Cook the eggs in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, or until the yolks are just barely set but the whites are completely set. Eight, to taste, add parsley, cilantro, and red pepper flakes to the shikshuka. Serve right away. 10. One Jeet Carb Vegan Keto Everything Bagels. One hour is required of you. Why we love it, it's low in calories, vegan, and keto. It goes without saying that everything bagel seasoning does the bulk of the flavor work, but the great surprise is that this low-carb version of a morning favorite has a texture that is absolutely perfect. These vegan everything bagels from Rodale's The Essential Vegan Keto Cookbook are the morning delight we've been craving, crispy on the exterior and soft on the inside. Furthermore, you may grab and go throughout the week because they are simple enough to prepare in an hour on Sunday night. Ingredients 2 teaspoons melted coconut oil Ground golden flaxseed, half a cup A quarter cup powdered psyllium husk 1 tablespoon of baking powder Sea salt, just a pinch. One half cup of natural, unsalted, unsweetened almond butter. Everything is salted. Poppy seeds, one teaspoon. Sesame seeds, one teaspoon. One teaspoon flakes of dried garlic. One teaspoon flakes of dried onions. One quarter teaspoon sea salt. Serving size, six tablespoons vegan cream cheese. First, make the bagels as follows, turn the oven on to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. One tablespoon of the coconut oil should be used to grease six portions of a donut pan. Two, combine the ground flaxseed, psyllium husk powder, baking soda, and salt in a small basin. One cup of warm water and the almond butter should be slowly blended in a big basin. With a spoon or spatula, combine the flaxseed mixture with the almond butter mixture. Mixing should be continued until a moldable dough emerges. Six equal quantities of dough should be created. Three, prepare the everything seasoning. Combine the sea salt, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, onion flakes, and garlic flakes in a small dish. Four, using oiled molds, press the dough sections into them. Rolling each part into a long log and then pressing it into a mold is the simplest way to accomplish this. Brush the remaining 1 tablespoon of coconut oil on top of the bagels. Sprinkle the spice mixture evenly. 5. Bake for about 40 minutes, or until golden brown. After 10 minutes of cooling in the pan, remove to a wire rack to finish cooling. 6. Add 1 tablespoon vegan cream cheese to each bagel. There you have it, 10 fantastic low-carb breakfast ideas that are sure to satisfy your taste buds and keep you energized throughout the day. From savory baked eggs to vegan keto bagels, these recipes offer a wide range of flavors and options for a healthy start to your morning. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more mouth-watering recipes, and leave a comment letting us know which breakfast dish you're most excited to try. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.